you wait? Well, that's what gave you the chills. Now I can feel the fire burning deep within me. I'll be the hero and no one can stop me. Alright guys, so we're back with another reaction video and I'm finally doing a reaction anime video which I've been wanting to do which I'm almost like to start doing so like This is top 10 animes that everyone needs to watch I'm almost likely to cut off some parts. I don't fucking know. Um, we'll see. We'll, we'll see Number 10 fate zero Nando each guy you to my ears or any excuse you're a copy of shooting you are <laughs> I never heard of this one. I don't know what it is. No wonder it's top 10. Now, trying to explain the Fate series to an outsider might seem like a Herculean labor in itself, given the series' fondness for playing around with its own timelines. But if we had to recommend an entry from the franchise, it would be this one. The Bruxel! Number nine, do ra ra ra. <laughs> Holy shit! This one was a good one. I never finished watching it, but I did watch it. And it was pretty cool. It's pretty interesting. But like, I, I think there was like two seasons or three, but I never actually finished them. I just finished, I think, one when it came out in. What was it? What was it? Toonami, I think, on Cartoon Network. Yeah. I don't know. I should, I should probably get into it, but this one's pretty good. Equal parts comedy, craziness, and character study. The inhabitants of Ikebukuro are truly some of anime's most memorable faces. While you do have your typical young leads who act as our catalyst to this rather violent city, we have to turn your attention to the following. Shizuo Hewajima, a man so strong that he can send whole gangs flying with just one punch. That boy's a god. Izaya Orihara, a rather sadistic information broker who lives to piss Shizuo off, and Selty Sturluson, a sweet and sensual woman with a love of motorbikes who happens to be missing a head. I never understood that. Number 8, Usagi Drop. <laughs> Number 7, One Punch Man. <laughs> Alright, One Punch Man. When I first heard about this, I thought it was a serious anime, but apparently it's a comedy anime, which I fucking disagree. Like, okay, so you're making an anime about a guy that kills people and won't punch. But it's an, it's, it's an anime. And he's a consider they, they compare him to Goku, but this is a comedy. I just fucking disagree with that. I gave this like three episodes. Didn't like it. I'm planning to watch it again to give it a chance because I did that with Tokyo Go and I clicked the second time. Do you like supernatural, supernatural hero so powerful that it borders on being laughable? Well, we have just the thing. As the titular One Punch Man, Saitama is a costumed hero who lives up to his nickname. See, look at that shit. He comes across with a single blow. Uh, Sma. Uh, Sma. Yeah. Number 6, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> to say that the tale of the Joestar family is bizarre would be something of an understatement. Number 5, Akira. Well, Kaneda, what are you gonna do now? <laughs> City like in a cyberpunk package set in a dystopian future? Count us in. I don't know this. We're in Lagan. <laughs> Let's see you grit those teeth! <laughs> it's no secret that there are anime out there. Though, to be honest, who doesn't love seeing giant robots pummel the crap out of each other? Who in the hell do you think we are? Power Rangers. Transformers. No. Just who the hell do you think I am? Number three, Cowboy Bebop. What could be cooler than following a group of dysfunctional bounty hunters as they end up running and gunning their way out of one impossible situation to the next? Number two, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood.
I watched both, both the first one and the second one. Well, they're not really, like, you know, first one, second one is like a remake, but better, I guess. Brotherhood is a remake of the original one. I watched both of them. Anime I highly recommend. It's fucking good, Cody. Soon, I'm coming back for you! Just you wait! Well, this will give you the chills. Led by the determined yet broken Elric brothers, the narrative follows a huge roster of characters who use the art of alchemy to try and protect, reshape, or destroy the world as they know it. He's not even using a transmutation circle. Religion, militarism, genocide, family, sacrifice, and revenge all permeate the series from the get-go. So rest assured that it knows when to bring the smiles and when to go into the darkest places Fuck yeah. experience. In this whole city, there's no places. I thought it was gonna be Dragon Ball Z, but cool. Don't be quick to dismiss this one as another young hero pilots giant robot and defeats aliens anime, because the depth of the conflict surrounding this particular series is almost legendary. Anyways, um, I can't really talk because I don't watch those other animes, but I do have a list of other good ones that he like didn't put in, but whatever, cool. Mojo, whatever the fuck you are, um, yeah, whatever. Uh, no Naruto, but he performed at Alchemist. No Bleach, but he performed at I mean, performing Alchemist is good, but I'm saying, like, what? Who is this guy? What the fuck? Any Anyways, guys, that is it. That was a top 10 anime that everyone needs to watch, whatever. Um, I don't know if this was good, whatever. I don't know. Drop a like. Um, leave a comment for any other videos I need to do, because you guys want to see shit, but y'all don't fucking say so. Damn, they complain, you ain't good. Fuck out of here. Anyways, guys, that is it. I'll see you guys in the next one. This has been your boy, Phase Adapt, and we'll be back with another reaction video soon to come. All right, gone.